Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer, Jabaro. If there's just one episode of Love, Death, and Robots that you'll watch, then make it Jabaro, which literally means a small farmer or laborer from Puerto Rico. Jabaro is the ninth episode of the third season of this popular Netflix show and dives into a toxic relationship between a deaf knight and a siren. Written and directed by Alberto Mielgo, the show pits two formidable opponents against each other in an episode that feels like the dance of predators. We recommend you watch this one even more so because of the vivid and aesthetically brilliant use of colors, which makes the episode feel like a painting about love, death, and fantasy come to life. As this dialogue-free episode inches closer to its end, we learn what the deaf knight really wanted, and naturally, he meets a grisly end. But the very last scene of the episode depicts an unexpected advancement. But don't you worry, we've got the ending covered. Let's begin, shall we? Oh, and by the way, beware of the spoilers ahead. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Love, Death, and Robot Season 3, Episode 9 Recap Amidst dense forests, which are reminiscent of the Amazonian rainforests, we see a group of knights reach a beautiful heart-shaped lake. Our titular character Jabaro is clearly out of sync with his comrades. As the group meets and greets members of the missionary, Jabaro finds a gold flake that resembles a fish scale. Everyone seems to be going about their day and no one notices the disturbance in the nearby forest and water. The situation changes when a siren makes its presence known to the knights and missionaries. Her shrieking voice casts a spell on the knights and they all run towards the center of the lake. Little did they know that they were running towards their deaths. The siren soon gives a violent demonstration of her powers as she makes knights kill each other while the others simply drown. However, Jabaro is deaf and hence he's immune to the siren's spellbinding voice. While the others perished, Jabaro ran to safety, at least for now. Learning that her voice had no effect on Jabaro, she gets infatuated with the Death Knight. I guess girls do like bad boys. Nevertheless, the siren is totally hot for Jabaro. As he spends the night in the heart of the forest, the siren tracks the poor knight down and sleeps next to him. It is evident that she feels a sensual attraction to him. The knight wakes up the following day and realizes that the siren's hands are wrapped around him. He feels chills run down his spine and attempts to escape, but the siren leaves a trail of gold for him to follow. He takes the bait and follows her desperately. At this point, it becomes difficult to decipher if Jabaro was following the siren out of feelings or gold. Nevertheless, the two of them meet by a river and kiss passionately. As the two of them dump their mouths into each other, Jabaro seizes the opportunity to headbutt her. The siren falls unconscious and he rips off of her body the gold and other valuable stones. He throws the siren into the flowing river and himself flees with the treasure. But then tragedy strikes as he loses his way. Meanwhile, the siren's body reaches the lake where Jabaro had first met the siren. As it happens, Jabaro too ends up at the lake's banks. He tries to wash his face with the water, but the siren's blood has already mixed with the water. As it turns out, the siren's blood has healing powers, and the blood infused with water cures Jabaro of his deafness. He realizes at that moment he is doomed. Now that he can hear, he is about to be bewitched by the siren's voice, who by now has come to life. She finds the man who had not only betrayed her, but left her for dead. And in the end, Jabaro is drowned by the siren. At the bed of the lake, we get to see hundreds of knights who previously drowned to their deaths. Ending explained. What went wrong with Jabaro? It seems that Jabaro was a Spanish conquistador. And according to Puerto Rican literature, these men invaded their lands for wealth. Likewise, Jabaro's one-point agenda was seizing the gold from the natives. His feelings for the siren did not take root in her beauty or anything emotional, but they were born from his greed for gold. And on the other hand, the siren felt bewitched by the deaf knight because he was strong enough to resist her enchanting voice. She found him different. <laughs> 
However, man's greed makes him do many wrong things, and Jabaro was no exception. He was abusive and greedy. That's why he not only hurt his woman, but he left her for dead. And as the siren learns that he is just like all the others, the facade that she held for the deaf knight fades, and his uniqueness stops existing. The knight in shining armor fell for the materialistic things and failed to see the real beauty that the siren possessed. Naturally, his death was a function of his greed and disillusionment, rather than an act of the siren. That was all in this video, but do check out our other videos on the third season of Love, Death, and Robots. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.